Hello, and welcome to another newsletter from Construction Programs and Results. I'm Michael Stone, and I'll be sharing our newsletter with you. Summer is amongst us, and that means old Saul is hard at work. You must be diligent with yourself and your employees about keeping covered up when you or they are working outside. Let employees, letting employees work without shirts and long pants may be cooler, but in the long run, they will pay a severe price. I have personally had seven sur different surgeries for skin cancer, and my doctor tells me they are all from too much sun exposure when I was younger working on jobs. I would guess there will be more in my future, so make sure, sure that you and your crew stay covered up. Today we're going to talk about getting some leads in the door. I'm hearing from more and more contractors that their phones are not ringing and business is slowing way down. So let's talk then about leads we need. If you're a contractor in the construction industry and you own a business, you want or need sales leads. Without leads, you can't make any sales. There isn't any magic elixir or formula that will provide quality leads quickly. It takes a focused, concentrated, long-term effort on your part to receive a consistent leads for your company and keep your sales pipeline full. Wherever you choose to advertise your services, make it easy for potential clients to call. Your phone number should be big, bright, and beautiful on all your advertising. I'll argue it's the most important number in your business life, even more important than the number that shows up on the last page, last line, far right-hand corner of your P&L. If prospective customers can't find your phone number easily, they will move on to the next company. On your website, it helps to have a contact form and or email address so prospective clients can reach out. Frankly, many contractors would rather deal with an email than a phone call anyway. While some potential clients might prefer to send an email or fill out a form, others want to talk on the phone, and you should make it as easily as possible for them to call and speak with you. They have questions, and they want an answer now. If they're thinking about building a deck, adding a large room addition, replacing the kitchen cabinets and appliances, they may not want to fill out a form and wonder if they'll hear back in 30 minutes or two weeks or two days or two weeks or whatever. They want answers to the questions and if you aren't available, they'll find someone who is. I know you might be thinking that some calls, phone calls you really don't want because they're a waste of time. Or maybe you'd rather they not call because you're afraid you'll fumble the call and lose the lead. So, in your opinion, it's better if they send an email. Consider this. When they call, answer their questions and then gently begin asking your questions. What kind of job do they want done? When do they want to get started? Or, when do they want the job completed? Have they had plans drawn up yet? Have they talked with any other companies? Have they made selections yet? Has anyone created a job schedule? Were they planning on living in the home while the work is being done? What's their criteria for picking their contractor? You probably don't want to ask this many questions, but these are suggestions to get you started. Ask questions that pertain to your specialty and to the work being done. Questions make them think about the job. They begin to realize they are going to have to be careful who they pick to do their job. These questions show you care about them and the job and help establish you as a contractor of choice. I talk about this at length in our book, Profitable Sales, A Contractor's Guide. You can't effectively do this with an email. You can do it easily on the phone. If you don't have your phone number displayed prominently in all your advertising, you'll never know how many calls you're missing. Make it easy for potential customers to call. Be consistent in your advertising. When business gets slow, too many make the mistake of saving money by reducing their advertising budget. That's a big mistake. 
It's also a mistake to let up on advertising when you get busy because you won't always be busy. Advertise 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. Your ads also need to be new and original and different from everyone else in your area that you get a second look from the prospective client. When leads are slowing down, contact your old leads and ask if they've had the work done yet. I read once that 60% of all leads were never sold by anyone. The work was never done. If that's true, six of every 10 calls you make will be to a potential customer who might still be interested. It's not a cold call because you're over, you've, you have already met them and now you have a second chance to get them to say yes. When you're continually, continually promoting your business, you'll always be adding to your nest egg of clientele who call on a regular basis and happily refer you to their friends and acquaintances. That's what keeps you busy and in business. Thanks again for watching and may the profits be with you.